Hello friends and welcome to Coffee and Conversation. Encouragement for today. A ray of hope coming from the Gordon Avenue Baptist Church in Adel, Georgia. And friend, there's just not a better place to find a ray of hope than in the light of God's holy and precious word. Today we'll be in the book of Proverbs chapter 20, and I want us to look at verse 24 as a text verse of scripture. Now notice what the Bible says here. Man's goings are of the Lord, and how can a man then understand his own way? And friends, I pray that God would certainly add his blessings to the reading of his holy and precious word. Get that good, fresh cup of hot coffee. Let's sit together and have an encounter with God and his precious word on this beautiful day. My goodness, friend, there's just not a better way to start a brand new day. Good, fresh, hot coffee and a fresh word from God. Well, friend, things have settled back down. The electricity is back on. And now we can get back down to business. Today I want to bring to you a devotional thought that is titled, Let Him Lead. You know, my friend, the Holy Father wants you to come to the place where all that truly matters to you is his will and you're no longer fearful about the unknown. But rather you trust him so deeply and remain in such close fellowship with him that you're confident he won't allow you to stray from his special path for your life. Friend, there is no doubt Almighty God has great plans for you. But the questions before you are, can you let go of control and allow the Father to work through you? Are you willing to accept whatever comes from his hand each day in faith? Beloved, don't miss God's blessings because you're fearful about giving up control. You may think, if I let go, everything will fall apart. But this is evidence of your limited understanding. It's possible that everything is going to pieces because you refuse to loosen your grasp. Friend, the Holy Father promises to strengthen and to uphold you so you can believe him, seek his will, let go of your fears, and allow him to instruct you step by step, remembering a step of faith is walking into the darkness with his light coming on one step at a time. So friend, let him lead. Your steps are directed by the Lord. 
and we can't understand our own ways. So let him direct you. Think about that. Now let's pray together. Lord, please help me let go. I want to rest in you and trust you more and more. And you're the only one who can help me do it. And I ask you to do that in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen and amen. Well, friend, I pray the devotion has been a blessing to you today. And if it has, you be a blessing to someone else by sharing it with them. Remembering that your life is the Bible that some will read today. So let others see and hear Jesus in all you say and in all that you do. Again, God bless you. Have a wonderful day.